What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tank B Chopping, and I'm coming at y'all with another haircut tutorial. Alright, so this is my boy Eric from the shop. He's a co worker. Uh, he needed a haircut, so I'm gonna hook him up. We're doing a number four on top, and we're gonna give him that high taper. Let's go. Alright, so I'm gonna start off with my number four on my Ergos. The lever is fully closed, and I'm going over the top. And y'all know how I do when I go over the top, guys. I like to go across the grain, against the grain. I just like to make sure all that hair is, is you know, getting cut down all to that same length. So I go over the top quite a bit. All right, and as y'all may or may not know, I always like to take my tapers a little shorter on the side. So since he got a four on top, I'm actually doing a number three on the side. And this is going to help also with the transition since he is getting a high taper. So now we're going to start setting in our initial bald guideline. I got my Stylecraft Absolute Hitters. And like I said, since we're doing this high taper, uh, we aren't doing any C-cup. He said he didn't want the C-cup, so I'm cutting that off. Setting my guideline, and I'm going to continue to fade this up. So as you can see here, I'm just lining up the back of his neck area, behind the ear and over the ear. And I do this just because I already have the trimmer in my hands. So I feel it makes this part a little easier and it, it helps get the haircut done a little quicker. Taking that bald guideline down to the skin, flicking out towards the top of that line. All right, now let's get started into the actual fading process. I got my ergos with the, with the lever fully open, and I'm coming up about three quarters of an inch to an inch. And as y'all know, once I create that next guideline, I like to fade down. So I am flicking out towards the top of that guideline. Close my lever halfway, and I'm coming up about halfway from what I just did, flicking out. And then I'm going to close my lever all the way and attack that bottom line. And this should, for the most part, take care of that line. But if it doesn't, uh, we'll take care of that with the trimmer later on in the cut. So here is my number one guard with the lever fully open. I'm coming up another section. So this would make this a number one and a half guard, guys. And I'm coming up and flicking out towards the top of that section. Now my lever is all the way closed and I'm trying to take, take care of that bottom line. Now this might not take care of it all the way. It might leave some weight, which it did. So as you can see, I got my 1 16th guard on there and I'm trying to get rid of that line. So the lever is opened up halfway and I'm just tapping at that line. I'm gonna adjust that lever as needed to get rid of that. So I might close it and then reopen it just to make sure it all blends in nicely and doesn't create another harsh line. Now I got my number one and a half guard and I'm coming up another section. Remember guys, my lever is open. I always start my next section with the lever, with the lever open. So I'm coming up, flicking out, and then I'm adjusting that lever closed and trying to get rid of that bottom line from the previous guideline. So my next step is my number two guard lever all the way open. I do want to make sure I'm coming behind the ear to debulk that area since we are doing a high fade, or I'm sorry, a high taper. And now I'm having that lever closed and I'm trying to clean up everything else. And this is basically my initial steps on my high taper guys. Everything after this is I'm just, uh, I'm basically just detailing my work, trying to make sure it looks nice. Uh, as you can see, I have my one and a half guard on there and I'm just gonna adjust that lever and tap spots where I need. This side of the taper was a little harder than the other side for some reason, it just didn't want to fade. So I'm going to actually be doing a lot of detail work and, that, and that's fine. We, we always have some haircuts that are like that, that uh, the fade does, just doesn't come together all at once. So you have to come back and detail it. So I always go up in my steps and then I come back down. So as you can see, I'm doing some corner blending with my lever all the way open. And then I'm adjusting that lever closed just trying to give this a good transition. Here is my 116 guard. And I have said in my previous videos that I really don't use my 116 guard 
However, uh, with these clippers, uh, I feel like it is needed a little more for me to use it, but that's fine. It's not a big issue for me to throw that 116 guard on there. You know, I like to call them guard, that guard and the one and a half guard, my in-betweeners. You know, it helps tie in the fade, so I don't use them from the jump, but I do go back and I use them when needed, especially when detailing. Now remember guys, when it comes to detailing, you can be as detailed as you want. You can detail for five minutes, for one minute, and you may not even have to detail on some cuts, but on this haircut, like I said, it was a little more difficult than normal, so I did have to go back and detail quite a bit. But we got most of it done. Uh, sometimes you have to just get away from that area, rest your eyes for a little bit. As you can see right now, I'm doing the uh, lineup in the front, and then I'm actually gonna go back and start to detail that some more. So as you can see, the taper looks pretty good, but I still wanna touch it up a little more just to take it to that next level. Another reason why it was taking a little longer is I did actually decide to bring the fade up a little higher. Uh, I didn't like the way it sat originally, so I brought it up a little more. So I basically had to redo some of my steps just to get these lines out. But like I said, that's all right. You know, we still got the job done, so that's all that matters. Here we are with the one and a half. Get rid of that dark area by the lineup. And I believe I'm going to use my one guard once again just to help clean it up a little more. I often get asked like, how do you know when you need to detail? Uh, I just think that comes with, you know, with time, you know, the more you cut, the more you realize that, okay, this haircut needs some more detailing and you learn your clippers a little better, you know how they cut with what guard on them. So you just, you just know what guard needs to be put in what place to help get rid of lines. And that just comes with time, guys. Uh, don't stress it if you're still trying to figure out. What you can do is do how I do originally. I go up step by step, guard by guard, and then I come back down and then you can just adjust the lever as needed. All right, so we finished off that side, and as you can see, I'm starting on the opposite side. I'm doing the same thing, guys. I put in my initial bald guideline, did the lineup behind the ear, balding it down to uh, skin with that shaver, and then I'm just starting my taper. So if y'all haven't done so yet, guys, please like this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe one time for your boy. I appreciate y'all guys. I appreciate all the love y'all been showing me, all the shares, all the comments. Man, we coming. I'm, I'm working. I got more than just tutorials. I've been recording some vlogs. I got. I just got some other stuff on the way, guys. So I, I really appreciate y'all for tuning in. I appreciate y'all for liking these videos and for subscribing. I appreciate it, man. All right, so as y'all can see, this taper just came together a little easier than the opposite side. And, and that happens sometimes, you know, sometimes uh, one side is easier than the other due to the way people sleep or the way their hair growth is. And you just got to know that that's going to come with barbering and it's cool. Just the best you can do is just try to make sure both sides match perfectly. And that's really it. So here I am trying to finish up his front lineup, hitting them vertical bars, making sure they're nice and straight. Detail a little more. And then here is the back taper, guys. And just because it's the back doesn't mean we necessarily do anything different. Uh, I try to keep my steps the same. So I start off with my bald guideline and then, you know, same thing. I start off with my lever open, adjust that lever closed, put my next guard on there, create a next section and I fade downward. And I, I just repeat them steps until this is fully faded and it looks good. Hey, so if, if y'all be on Instagram, guys, Please make sure to give me a follow. It's at tank underscore B underscore chopping. Make sure y'all follow the barbershop too, at Chopper's Barbershop. So as y'all can see, this fading is cut, this well, this taper is coming together nicely. The blend is looking good. Looking pretty blurry. We getting after it, man. We working. 
And that's what we've been doing all year, man. Like I said, I just appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. It means a lot to me. I didn't know my channel was gonna grow as quick as it did. Uh, obviously, we still got a long way to go, but we're gonna keep doing it. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. So that was the back part of the table, guys. Now I'm just lining everything up with my razor, making sure I'm going over everything I did with the trimmers. Just getting this as sharp as I possibly can. And if it sounds like I'm in like a small enclosed room right now, or if y'all hear some background noise, I'm actually at the shop right now. I had a small break. So I'm in my car recording this voiceover about, hey, I need to, I need to post another video, so I need to do this ASAP. The grind don't stop. But as you can see, I'm hitting them with some enhancements, making sure that edge up pops. This is the before cut. He was like, Tank, hook me up, man. I need your help. And this is after. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this taper, guys. I think it's looking pretty blurry. I think I got down. I think I did my boy right. Shout out to my boy, Eric the Barber. We be getting after that at the shop. Y'all let me know what y'all think, guys. If y'all haven't done so, please make sure to like this video and subscribe one time for your boy. I appreciate y'all YouTube. Until next time.